Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today you guys are in my kitchen with me. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm gonna be sharing with you three healthy dinner ideas. A lot of you guys seem to be very interested in what I eat and then, you know, just kind of updates on stuff. So I'm gonna kind of try to give you all of that here. So the recipes I'm gonna be making are three recipes from a recent HelloFresh um, box that I got. I'm really excited to share them with you. They're really, really yummy and so easy, you guys. It's so funny because I'll get recipes from like my parents or somebody else and they'll be like, oh, it's so easy. And then I end up spending like an hour in the kitchen. These are truly easy. Are we making a video? Yeah. Yeah? Are we going to show them some yummy food we just ate? Yeah. <laughs> So of course these could really either be lunch or dinner ideas. Actually one of these I did make for lunch. Um, the peach and tomato tartines I made for lunch. These were so good. And then last night actually we had the eggplant and sun dried tomato linguine which was amazing. And the first one I made it was so good. It was this um, veggie burrito bowl. You guys know if you follow the vlog channel we are obsessed with our burrito bowls. So I was really excited to try that variation. It was so good. So the box that I got was the veggie box and this was actually our first time trying it out. So I wanted to kind of share with you guys my thoughts and opinions on this box and show you how I made all of it. So the boxes are of course always changing but if you like any of these recipes you can follow along with me in the video and try them out. If you do, let me know what you think in the comments down below. So when you first get your box, this is how it comes. It is packaged so cute. The inside is packaged very neatly and each meal is separated out. So like I said in the intro, I have the eggplant and sun-dried tomato linguine, the peach and tomato tartines, and then the vegetarian burrito bowl. So I'm going to start off with the vegetarian burrito bowl. That was the first one I made. So I'm just going to be laying out my ingredients. You need your black beans, brown rice. It does come with um, sour cream and cheese and then some different toppings. So first what I'm going to do is just make the rice. So this was just your standard rice preparation, just water, rice, and then a pinch of salt. So I'm just kind of swishing that all together and throwing that on the stove. In the meantime, I decided to chop up my toppings and then what will be the salsa. So this recipe just wanted you to rinse and wash your beans. So I went ahead and did that and kind of set them aside while I decided to make the salsa. So that could kind of sit together and marinate. So this just called for the whites of a few scallions and then a few Roma tomatoes. So I'm just going to mix those two together and then I'm going to add in my lime juice and then just a tiny little bit of salt and pepper to taste. It was literally the most simple salsa in the entire world. It was so fresh and so good and it was just like literally the easiest thing ever. So that was that. I just added my lime juice and again just kind of stirring everything together and setting this aside until I'm ready to assemble my bowls. So for the beans, I'm just going to be adding a little drizzle of olive oil to my pan and I was really excited about the preparation for these. I had never made beans this way. So I'm just adding the cumin to the um, olive oil. It didn't say necessarily to do it this way, but the master chef intuition was telling me to do it like this <laughs> just so that it coated the beans easier. Um, but anyway, so I'm just kind of mixing that together and heating that up and then I'm going to add in my black beans. The way this recipe has you do it is you add your black beans to this little concoction here and you let them actually get a little bit crispy. I was really, really excited about this because like I said, I've made many, many, many veggie burrito bowls, but I had never made the beans this way and it was so good. I literally will never just like throw black beans on the stove and like still have the juice and everything in them again. This was like way, way better. So I just kind of let those sit there for a minute so the skin of the beans could get a little bit crispy and then would occasionally kind of stir it obviously so they didn't burn. But as you can kind of see on the bottom of the pan, you're getting that little bit of crispiness which just made all of the difference in this dish. It was so good. So it's finally time to put these in the bowls. I'm just starting with the rice which is kind of the base of the whole meal. So I'm just splitting that up between the bowls and then I'm going in with those beans look at me saying going in like I'm doing a tutorial or something. <laughs> Placing the beans on top of the rice and just kind of splitting that up between the bowls and then I'm going to be adding this delicious salsa you guys. It was so so good. 
It was just like the perfect combination and it was like the most simple thing in the entire world. Also, I love that the juice kind of got down into the beans and the rice. It was so good. So over here on the left, I'm making brocks and we eat a little bit differently at the moment. So I'm adding cheese and sour cream to his, which is the traditional recipe that it calls for. And for mine, I decided to just add avocado to the top. It was so good. And then I did add some avocado on his because he would be super jelly if I left him out. We are avocado obsessed. <laughs> but anyway, so there's different variations that you can do these recipes. You can obviously tweak them to your liking, but I just really like, oh, and we had enough to make a little baby plate too. But what I was going to say is I just really like that this gives you different options for eating. So if you are somebody who's maybe trying to you know, maybe not eat as much meat or something and you have no idea on recipes, trying a box like this really will help you out a lot. So this was the first dish, it was absolutely delicious. Now we are moving on to the peach and tomato tartines. So I have to admit when I first saw this recipe, I was a little bit nervous because it just is really outside of my comfort zone. I am a picky eater and so this was just like a little scary for me, but oh my gosh, it ended up so good, you guys. So I have to admit too, I have like never, I don't think I've ever cut a peach. I don't, I had no idea what I was doing here <laughs> and you could tell because I was not even going through the right little like placement on the peach. I just made my own lines and I don't know. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I have eaten peaches. It's not like I've never had one. I just usually eat them like you'd eat an apple and just kind of eat it. So I had never sliced one, I guess is what I'm saying. So I sliced this up and then removed some of the little hard bits where the pit was before I put it on my baking sheet. So I just sliced those up and then it wanted me to slice up a tomato and take out the seeds and the core. So that is what I did right here. So after I had those sliced up, I went ahead and put some parchment paper down and then put them on a baking sheet. If you don't have parchment paper, you can just do like a little light coating of baking oil or something like that just so they don't stick to your pan. So after that, I am just going to be slicing up my bread. It wanted me to slice it on the diagonal. It made it look super fancy doing it this way, so that was really cool. So now what I'm doing is making the dressing for the arugula salad. It was so yummy. It called for some balsamic vinegar, a teaspoon of honey, and then olive oil to taste. So I just mix this up in a small little bowl and whisk that together and set it aside until we were ready to dress the salads and eat them. So the arugula for the salad was already portioned out, which makes my life so much easier. I just love these boxes, how everything is like perfectly portioned out. Just for somebody who is not a cook like myself, it makes things so much easier. It wanted you to toast up some almonds to put in the salad too, and I just really loved that that added a little different texture to the salad. This dressing was absolutely amazing. Everything just complemented each other so well. So for this, I wanted you to put some ricotta on top of your toast and you just kind of eyeball this out. It didn't really tell you how much to do. So just a little update, like kind of on how I'm eating. I do still have um, cheese now and again. I've found that really hard to give up. So I really do try to limit it just for reasons that I've explained in other videos, skin issues and stuff. But lighter cheeses like ricotta and stuff like that, I don't find to really affect me. So um, yeah, I guess that's just like a quick little update. <laughs> but this was so, so good. It was just really, really fresh tasting and like, I don't know, the salad and this was literally just so good and it's so funny because this was one of the recipes that I was really scared of I was like I'm not sure like if I'll like that but this really ended up being one of my favorite ones the little drizzle of honey on top oh my gosh you guys it was just so amazing so the last thing is the eggplant linguine which was so amazing I think I've said that on like all of these but you know coming from a girl who like eats out a lot it was so nice to have some home cooked meals that were like really easy to do so right now what I'm doing is just cutting up my eggplant and while I'm doing this I am going ahead and boiling the pasta and just getting that ready so that when 
the sauce and everything else is good to go, the pasta will be too. So first world problems. I don't know if I've ever actually eaten, well, okay, I've had an eggplant, but it was like fried eggplant, so that doesn't really count. I don't know if I've ever cut an eggplant either. So it just wanted you to cube these up into about half inch little cubes and then put it on your cooking sheet. And I just did some parchment paper underneath that as well. And then a light coating of some olive oil and then just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I put that in my oven at 450 degrees for about 20 minutes. So while that's cooking and the pasta is boiling, I'm just shredding up this mozzarella cheese and it was so funny because the instructions said to shred it and I was like, oh, I'll cut it and be all fancy and make it cute. Um, no, it was not easy to cut at all. So shredding it really was the best way to go. For the sauce, I just wanted you to add all of the tomatoes, the sun-dried, the onions, and the um, crushed tomatoes and then all of the other ingredients. So once that is all done, the sauce heads simmered a little bit and you've gotten your eggplant cooked you just throw that in the pot and mix it all together so once again i love that this is very like different dietary restriction friendly if you wanted to just take the pasta out without adding the cheese you could totally do so at this point and if you wanted to add the mozzarella cheese of course at that point you could do so and you just kind of mix that all together while it's still hot so that the cheese can you know just melt down a little bit but you guys this pasta was just like next level I loved it and I was so excited to try something new because like I said I'd never really done eggplant and I'm really still new at eating vegetarian slash vegan whatever you'd like to call it so it's really nice to get some different recipes that I was able to try that were actually really really tasty so that was the final recipe I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really had so much fun making this and testing out all of these different recipes if you guys want to check out HelloFresh I will have all of their information linked in the description box down below and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and I will see See you guys next time.